for too long I don't know what else to do I wanna get away from every little thing Just to try to make it through I've been thinking about my options Every detail in my head But it doesn't really matter, nothing matters So I cry instead Beacons again, uh, folks. It's Friday evening, roughly 6 pm, something like that. And I'm going to be doing a solo wild camp. If you've seen the, um, the video I've done about a month ago, the My Favourite Trail video, I, um, I saw a pretty decent campsite on that, on that video. So I'm going to try it out tonight. Yeah, it, um, it's not a crazy walk up, it's probably about 20 minutes just up that way through the forest. So yeah, not too far. I've got a bit more gear in my pack tonight, so because I knew it wasn't that much of a walk. So yeah, I've got a few more luxuries in the rucksack. And um, yeah, when I get there, some of you may know where it is, I don't know. Some of you are the a trained eye, you know, some of you that know the beacons better than I do, you might know where it is, but I won't say where it is exactly, so if you want to find it, then have a go at finding it. But uh, yeah, um, it's got a river there, decent flat pitches, and it's not on top of a mountain, it's down a little bit of a dip so it should be out of the wind if there is any wind so yeah let's make tracks lately on um, the whole of Facebook groups and social media some people saying like could this be the end of wild camping well thing is like there's a few people spoiling for the rest of us and I know that um, a lot of the national parks are clamping down now even in the car park down there there's more signs no camping, no overnight stays, all that like, so, and um, I was watching the Paul Mesner video the other day, 
and he was saying the same thing. But hopefully we can still do wild camping, hiking, well hiking, yeah, wild camping. There's certain people that um, let the side down unfortunately, leaving all their crap behind, leaving all their tents behind, rubbish everywhere, beer cans, beer bottles, you name it, they've left it. So yeah, guys, leave no trace. Tell you what though, apart from the sheep, it's dead silence. You could um you could hear a pin drop. It's just me and the sheep. That's all that is. Brilliant. So peaceful. Ah. That's it over there. I think you'll agree with me, it's quite a nice spot this. The tent's gonna go there somewhere. Got a water source over there. Yeah, I'm happy with this. I won't um, put my tent up too early though, because Still too light, and I don't want to get moved on. I haven't seen anyone, but just heard a cuckoo. Hear that? So yeah, I'll leave it. I don't know another hour, and then I'll pitch up probably. So in the meantime, I'll just sit here and have a beer. Good idea. Just having a chill out at the moment. I'm having a can of the Herefordshire fire water. Just admiring the view. And the weather at the moment is partly cloudy. Not too cold, but in the early hours of the morning we're we'll having ring. I think it's coming in about two o'clock, two or three, something like that. So what I'm gonna do is get up at first light and maybe have a coffee and start packing up. I don't mind camping 
in the rain when I'm going home. But I don't like camping when I gotta pitch up in the rain. So yeah. This is this is good. Weather's decent so far. Rain tomorrow, but I can handle that. So yeah. Let's have a good night. Tonight's tent is the Van Gogh Nevis 200. Folks, tents all, all pitched up. The good old Van Gogh Nevis never let me down. Use this on loads of um, loads of camps. So, as I said before in other videos, they say it's a two-man tent, but it's more more as a more of a one-man tent. With all your gear. So yeah, that's home for the night. So let's have a look at my sleep setup. Nothing fancy really. Got my silver foil insulated underlay. My mountain equipment. Trusty old helium 3.8 inflatable mat. The OEX Leviathan down sleeping bag and the Trekology Aleft 2.0 pillow. So pretty much what I normally use. Still using the down bag as it's not that warm at the moment. So yeah, that looks good enough for tonight. Pretty cosy in fact. It's time to eat. I got a big daddy. 16 ounce rump steak out of Iceland for a fiver. Some mushrooms, I'm gonna cut it cut down in quarters and fry them as well. So it's steak and mushrooms with mustard tonight. So yeah, I'll do it now before it gets dark. And I'm starving. There's the steak. And there's my frying pan. Something don't compute. Luckily I brought my Mara knife. Swedish made. Got this from a company online called Springfields. 12 quid. For the knife and... First time I've used this so yeah. Let's give it a go.
Right then folks, what I've had to do is cut the steak down into bite-sized pieces because the steak is that thick, the one cooking in the middle. My fault, I should have um, brought a bigger frying pan really, but anyway. That's half of it done. The rest is nearly done. We got some English mustard. So yeah, it's um, time to plate it up. Right then, time to eat. I don't know how um, you like your steak cooked, but I reckon I'm having mine well done. Right, let's tuck in. Right then, here's a the verdict. Some of it is like Tepper's old boots. But some of it is nice and tender. So I've obviously overcooked the um, half of it. Mmm. That bit. That was banging. Right, have me food now. God, that filled a gap. And then some. God, lovely though. So anyway, I'm going to start cleaning all the dishes away and have a chill out for a bit. Morning everyone. As you can hear, it's pissing down. I knew it would. I saw the forecast and i got to be fair, it said it was going to rain at 2 o'clock. At 2 o'clock it started raining so they got that spot on. Fair play. But yeah. I'm going to have to um, pack all my shit now in my rucksack and then stick it outside and put the tent down. So yeah, that'll be fun. Not. I'm not even going to have a cup of coffee, I don't think. I'm just going to... Pack up and head back. See you in a bit. Well, that's me all packed up now. Just got my um, waterproof over trousers on. So I'm gonna. I think it's time to breathe the elements. Let's have a look outside. See what it's like. Not as bad as I thought. It always sounds worse on the tent, doesn't it? So, yeah, throw my gear out now and I'll start putting the tent away. Tell you what, what a difference a day makes. Unbelievable. Right, all packed up now. That's where the tent was. You can see the dry patch there. Leave no traces as usual. So yeah, I'm going to get my um, pack on now and head on out of here. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again. Bye.